The very secret plan is meant to be a comedy show, and one of the underlying humors is the distance between the ideal and the actual, especially in my life. And so this is this is a very difficult thing to admit as a enter, I guess. In that, you know, humans usually look to the inventor or the user or somebody saying you should try this to be the proof of the pudding, you know? And so there's a lot of pressure on me to be some sort of, uh, I don't know, powered enlightened man. And as you know, for humans, I mean, we, we have stages and we have states and we have states of peak experience and we have states of, let's say, not so peak experience. And if you have enough states of not so peak experience and actually the bottom, the kind of rock bottom, that's a nice little thing. Uh, experience, your rock bottom. Uh, you know, people are going, well, why are you in rock bottom or why don't you get out of rock bottom or why? Doesn't your system help you? Now, I immediately can go, well, wait, it's a team-based system and I'm an individual and just using it by myself isn't quite the same. That's the idea. That's the, the thing around it. You, you know, the, we got to look at the team, which means looking at Synergy Team 001, who I don't even think they think they're on a team yet. I mean, person in charge of creativity, she, she, she is barely a glimmer in her mind and I, I even live with her. So again, getting to the comedy side of this, it's like the harder humans try to change the world, the, the funnier they, they look. And we want to be a prime example of this. And so I just want to clarify that because it, it's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like I'm saying I have a plan and I'm saying that I have some tools and I want to share it with the world. It doesn't mean like I'm like, uh, and that's just it, isn't it? If you want to be your superhero self, you have to come face to face with your own inner limitations, your own inner beliefs about yourself, your, your self-worth. And are you able to step into immense power? Are you able to step into uh, your divine self? Are you able to step into your superhero? And that's everyone's journey. Each of us has that journey. And I'm saying I have a story, an adventure, that if you participate within it, your superhero is going to emerge because they will finally have a place where they're seen by other superheroes and they're finally in an adventure worthy of them. So the very secret plan takes a little bit of time to get to know, but once you get to know it at the depth of it, you're designing your ideal job within an alternative economic system, one based upon love and one in competition in a sense with fear, but we want to move that to cooperation. How can we take people who are living a fearful life and not the lifestyle they are wanting and, and help them move into a loving, beautiful world where the economic system is actually uh, doesn't have usury so it can be built upon a foundation of truth so that we can live together? I mean, that, it's very basic, but to move from the old paradigm to the new paradigm there's a, a change in thought. There's a change in the structure of our mind. There's a change in how we think. And that's the biggest evolution that is going to happen right now because the world has come to a stop. And now we can start again, a new 20 year cycle with Jupiter and Saturn, or perhaps a, a new 800 year cycle, or perhaps there are larger cycles where, which are happening right now, which we can align with and tune into and participate with and uh, begin to navigate and guide our own lives from the individual to the team to the community to the species level and to 
gain a sense of our own responsibility for what's occurring and our ability to respond, our ability to intelligently organize together so that we can all flourish and uh, have a, a good life for everybody.